Yeah, here we go. Oh, here's, oh, this is a really good one. Hello, I'm Bob Hartzler with Iowa State University Extension and Outreach. And today we're gonna to talk about two woody vines that we typically find on the edges of woods. Sometimes we'll find them in open uh, grassland areas, prairies. One is we need to be really careful about, the other one really is not too much of an issue. But the one everybody's concerned with is poison ivy. Don't do this at home. I'm not very allergic to poison ivy. Uh, so I can handle it in most cases without having problems. But poison ivy should be relatively easy to identify in that we have the leaves with three leaflets. And so there's the old saying, leaves of three, let it be. And another good trait for differentiating poison ivy is the irregularly uh, toothed leaves. Now most of these leaflets here are what we call entire, so there's no teeth or margin. But as you get older plants, uh, oftentimes you'll start to find uh, leaves that have little dentate margins like this. So you can see a little lobe developing there. I talked about the irregular leaf margins, and so here's a good example of a leaf that has irregularly uh, tooth margins. Uh, so some leaves will have a totally smooth leaf margin whereas some will have one or two teeth. Uh, that's a, a common characteristic of poison ivy. And the leaves are opposite. Uh, box elder is a tree that when you find saplings, uh, it has uh, trifoliate leaves too that are very similar in shape. And so uh, poison ivy uh, is a vine. This one is just growing along the ground and each place where we had a node, a new stem can come up. And oftentimes you'll find it growing along trees and they will climb the trees. And another way to identify poison ivy is that there will be aerial roots developed from the stems that help cling to the tree or if it's a building. And the concern with poison ivy is the oil, which is the toxin that causes rashes, is not just found in the leaves, but it's also found in the uh, stems, the roots, any part of the plant. And so if you go out in the winter and try to tear this plant out, thinking you're safe because there's no leaves, uh, those toxic oils, Jerusiol is the name of it, is still present and can cause uh, serious rash. Uh, so this is poison ivy. A vine that oftentimes gets confused with poison ivy is Virginia creeper. And it's oftentimes found in the same location. We found this Virginia creeper in the same area as the poison ivy. Uh, it's a woody vine, climbs trees, can grow, grow along the ground. But with the Virginia creeper, it has five leaflets rather than three. And it lacks the toxins. Now this plant does have some toxins that occasionally people will respond with a, a rash, but probably 95% of the people respond to uh, poison ivy, where maybe five or 10% of people will respond to uh, Virginia creeper. So those are two woody vines. Again, we find them uh, oftentimes along the margins of woods, but you can find them actually in prairies and other grassland areas of, of low management. So be on the lookout uh, because the poison ivy is very dangerous to some people. Now, how are you exactly holding on to that first one again? <laughs> I don't want to get close to it. It's hard to wash off because it's oil. Right. So uh, there are some special soaps that do a better job, but you have to get it pretty quick. 